What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yes. Look at that, guys. Eight badges. Check it out. Mm-hmm. We are victorious. And now it is finally time for us to move on into the next area, into the next, uh, well, the next stage of this whole episode or walkthrough, and that is we're going to be going to the Pokemon League. Step by step, we're going to be doing some stuff right here. Now, if only I can find the exit to this place. Uh, it's not there. There's another exit to this whole area. And uh, hopefully I don't get lost right here. It should be right down here somewhere. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, off we go, guys, into the next, the next adventure. Because we won all eight badges. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. All you have to worry about is what your Pokemon party can do. True. And talk to this guy. My Pokemon's nickname is Sepultura. Like the band? Kind of like the band. It's kind of like the band. Okay, so here we are in Route 21, Dernier Way. I can't even say it right, guys. Holy crud. Uh, let's see. Alrighty, okay. We are moving on. And yes, Route 21 is going to be a fun one because there are quite a few trainers around here. And I seem to have remembered something. Okay, let's buy number. Oh, crud. Why did I do that? Do this again. And now we can use Waterfall. Unfortunately, we don't have one Pokemon that can learn Waterfall. Holy crud. Yeah, this is going to be trouble. This is going to be trouble. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't look like we need Waterfall, but let's go ahead and Surf. And... Well, let's see. Let's see. Well, I got a text message, so I'll be right back with you guys. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm back. I had to take care of a something, something, and, uh, well. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes these messages, good news, bad news, it's whatever. So, anywho, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. We do need a Pokemon with Waterfall eventually. So, we're going to be swimming, and yes, we're going to be finding an item right here. Look at this. We found ourselves an Insect Plate. Nice. Now, ever since we've gotten our, our Surf Attack, we haven't gotten to, you know, specific areas throughout Kalos to grab some hidden items and all that stuff. And, you know, that's probably what I'm going to be doing right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, not battle a Lombre. Ah, and as you guys can see, it is almost daytime here in the Kalos region. Let's go. Okay, all right. Anywho, let's see. Uh, we need to put on repels because, yeah, you know, screw that. We're not going to get attacked by any these Pokemon, I swear. I love battling Pokemon and all that stuff, but I'm on a timer right here. I don't necessarily want to uh, be battling Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead and battle this person. I've been uh, with my Pokemon partner since the very beginning of my journey. Ah, okay. Me too. Ever since 1997, eight. So here we are taking on Ace Trainer Muriel, and she is coming out with a Sableye, and we're gonna go with Nacho Libre. And well, let's see if Poison Jab actually works right here. Yes, it does. It is both a Ghost and Dark type Pokemon, and it's not very effective, but it does leave a poison. And here comes a Zen Headbutt, which uh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's not good. But you're still poison, homeboy. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be switching up our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Jordan the Goat. Let's do it. Let's get it. So here we go. Jordan the Goat, how's it going? Here comes a Zen Headbutt. Won't be as effective because you know Jordan the Goat can take can tank anything except Fire type moves and Ice type moves and the occasional Bug type moves. But you know what? Here we go. Surf attack. There it is. And Surf does it. Okay, alrighty. And well, Nacho gets some points right there. And he's coming out with a Crustal. You know what? Let's continue on with the same Pokemon right here. Let's get it. Crustal's looking all big and crusty. Well, guess what? Take a Surf attack for the win. How does it feel to fail? Oh, come on. And wow, it's... Wow, it's lowered its defense, but it's heightened up its attack. That is a big... Well, that, that, that that's a big... Uh, what was it? Oh, crud, and it's faster than us. Look at that. Okay. All right. I respect that. 
I respect the, I respect the trainer for doing that. It took a gamble and it won. How is it faster than my Pokemon? And for that, I am getting revenge. Let's go with the muddy water. Oh, come on. Rock Wrecker? The heck is Rock Wrecker? What the? Okay. All right. That's enough. Let's go. Let's get it, Blade. Okay. How in the heck? All right. Let's go with an Iron Head attack. And you must recharge. That's right. So here comes the stance change. Your ass is mine. Let's go, Iron Head. For the win. How is it? Man, that Crustle just... Yeah, that Crustle showed me. Holy crud. Okay, so Muriel has been defeated. Yes. Alrighty. And just like that, we are like dumbfounded. We are. That's the first time I'm ever using that kind of like that, that, that word. Dumbfounded. Yes. Your boy Draven is learning new words every single day. Again, guys. I keep on saying it in every single episode. But I learn more from you guys than, I, than you guys learn from me. Um, the reason I say that is because... You know, growing up in the Pokemon world and all that stuff, yes, there are certain things that I know. There's a lot of things that I know in the first few generations. But later on, I really stopped paying attention to the intricacies of, uh, of, of the Pokemon game. Like, you know, IVs, EVs, uh, you know, strategy and all that stuff. I'm more of the Pokemon trainer that wants to play the game and just show it to you guys. Now, the reason I say I learn more from you guys is because... A lot of you guys who watch my walkthroughs, you guys le leave me comments. Or you guys have been leaving me comments that, hey, Draven, don't forget this. Or you could do that. Why are you doing this? Or you can do that. Every single message I've seen, I don't take it personal. I just look, and then I see, and then bam, I learn. Which is good, guys, because this is the reason why I have this channel for you guys to watch and for you guys to, you know, teach me some stuff, too. Because, well, your boy, eh, he's smart, but he's not that smart. Well, he is smart. He's very smart. In fact, I'm I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty smart. It's just, yeah, this right here, you guys you guys' help is welcomed all the time. And well, that whale lord is poisoned. Yeah. So here comes Oblivion Wing. Yeah. Say goodbye to Vileplume right here. Now we're taking on some fully evolved Pokemon, and uh, yeah, that right there gives us a little bit more points. And here comes Amnesia from Whale Lord himself. Okay, so special defense has rose sharply. And here is the poison from Whale Lord. And time to beat up on the Whale Lord. Let's go with a cut attack, okay? Let's just do that. And, uh, you know what? Oblivion Wing for Whale Lord. He has a lot of HP, so here comes Oblivion Wing. Yeah. And, oh my god. Whale Lord is a Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna have to fly, because it's aiming on one of my Pokemon right here. And what if we use Disable? Okay, so fly. Disable. And here comes a bounce attack, and yes, we win. That's right, strategy. That's right. I know things, guys. Would it make you guys feel any better that I didn't even see the screen when it, when it bounced? That it bounced. I kind of knew that it wanted to go for my uh, fighting type Pokemon. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a very, very smart guy. Not really. Anywho, let's move on right here. And you're going to need a Pokemon that knows strength so you can push this around. And the cool thing about this area is that you can find a pretty good Pokemon. And that is Dragonair, Dratini. And, uh, you know, you could evolve it into a Dragonite. I should probably do that. I probably should, but... I made a commitment to capturing only the regional Pokemon and all that stuff. Granted, this team right here is not that diverse, but I'm trying something. And, well, look at this. Bam. Okay, so this one will lead us towards that Pokemon trainer. And, wow, everybody's just, like, messaging me. Huh. All right, let's go with uh, Star Fox. Let's just destroy everybody right here. So here we go. Among trainers, words are unnecessary, wouldn't you say? Hippodon, a ro 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 It's battle time. Show them your strength! Okay, um, I made a mistake. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see, let's go. Hippodon. So, Hippodon going up against my Star Fox. And, uh, well, here comes a Sandstream attack. And, well, look at that. 
Let's go right ahead and use a psychic attack and see if that actually works. And how? Okay. Protect always goes first somehow. And, well, let's go right ahead and use another one. Let's go straight for a psychic attack. And just like that, Hippowdon. Defeated. Not really. It's making us uh, sleepy. And we got one more chance at an attack right here. So here we go. Psychic attack. And there you go. Hippowdon. Defeated. And it is coming with an ice-type Pokemon. So, um... Actually... Now that I think about it, let's go with Nacho. All right, so my Pokemon's asleep. Yeah, you gotta love that. So let's uh, take on Aurorus, and we're gonna go with Nacho Libre himself. Okay, Nacho. Let's go, Nacho. How's it going, Nacho? What's up? And, uh, well, here comes Aurorus. I do believe that it's a rock and ice type Pokemon, so this will do plenty of damage, and of course, we're gonna go with a Protect. That right there is going to hit me. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so it, it strategized for me right there and then. So let's go with a high jump kick. Are you serious? Oh, my God. So we beat our own... Oh, God. I hate you. Okay. It's upsided. Revenge time. Let's go, Blade. Let's do it. Anywho. If you guys are wondering... Why name Nacho Nacho Libre? Obviously, it's because of the, the movie Nacho Libre. And there's a funny story behind the whole Lucha Libre, Nacho Libre kind of deal. Um, many of you guys already know, I am a wrestling fan. Huge, huge wrestling fan. And if you guys want to know something uh, pretty fun, the reason I got into wrestling was because of my mama. Yeah, that's right. The badass mom is the reason for you know me liking wrestling all this time. Um, and it all started off with Lucha Libre. I used to spend the weekends with her, watching these things, colorful and all that stuff, and uh, the flippity, you know, the flips and everything. And next thing you know, I got into just regular wrestling and all that crud. So you can credit my mama for that one. The badass mom, she takes all this credit. Mom, if you're watching this, I love you, mama. And uh, well, sorry for being a pain in your ass. <laughs> yeah, she thinks I'm a pain in the ass sometimes. Anywho, let us continue right here. Uh. The Move Tutor House. Okay, so yes, this is a, 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 what it means, the Move Tutor House. And, uh, well, we're going to be moving on to, let's see, the advanced tips. If you use Trick Room again after it's already been used, everything goes back to normal. The fastest Pokemon once again gets act, the act first. Huh. Okay. So if you guys if you guys uh, don't know, you guys can find a Dratini Dragonair right here. If you guys are interested in that Pokemon. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this item. Found ourselves a Repeat Ball. And we're going to go right here, cut this, and grab ourselves a, uh, what, what, what you might call it, a berry. Not the, not the annoying rival berry, but, you know, the berry, the figgy berry. All right, let's move. Yeah. So let's see. Is there anything else I need to actually do? Okay. And... Well, I think we have like one or two more trainers left before we get into the next area. Right here. And yes, let's use a repel just in case. And never mind. Wow, I wasted. Oh, hold the phones. Hold the phones. I forgot about this. So as you guys can see, there is a puzzle right here. And I kind of want, I kind of like puzzles. So let's go ahead and cut this down. And there you go. Right here, and wow, we're gonna get attacked by a trainer. I've lost track of how long I've been waiting here to, uh, for my sweetheart to return. I was once an innocent lass, but now I'm all grown up. Wow. Huh. Look at this. Taking on veteran Trisha, and she is gonna be coming out with a Tyrantrum. AKA Sharptooth. AKA. That's a cool Pokemon, a cool fossil Pokemon I actually have. So let's go right ahead and go with a psychic attack. Yes. Feel my psychic powers. And Tyrantrum is going to go with a crunch. And because of its ability, it's multiplied. As you guys can see, it's very, very effective. So here we go. Psychic attack yet again. And just like that, we win again. All right. Okay. Look at that. Yes. And Moko grows to level 62. And Trisha has been defeated. Hmm. 
That was pretty easy. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right here. Grab this item. We found ourselves an elixir. And not going to lie, guys, this is like my first time going here. I always forget that there's like puzzles around here. Uh, okay, so we have to move that from the other side. So let's go ahead and battle, battle this guy. I feel like I'm missing something before I can take Victory Road. Let me battle you and find out what it is. Uh, is it your girlfriend? Okay, so we're taking on Ace Trainer uh, Evan, and he's coming out with a chandelure. And, well, I am already at a disadvantage yet again because, well, you know, your boy, he doesn't really listen. So we're going to go with Evil Bacon right here. All right, Evil Bacon. Time to do it. There it is, Evil Bacon using Dark Aurora and Chandelier going with a Shadow Ball. That won't be effective, but Evil Bacon is like, yeah, is that the best you got? Let's go Dark Pulse attack right here. And Dark Pulse takes out Chandelier. Look at that. Alrighty, okay. And just like that, Evil Bacon grows a level 59. Yes, and he wants to learn Psychic. Oh, okay. Screw it. Let's go with this uh, Disable. Even though it helped me in a, in, a, in a battle. I can always learn Disable. I don't know. Okay, so there he is. Star Fox grows to level 67. And, well, we have defeated uh, Evan. And thanks for defeat. I need to... Yeah, you need to improve. Okay, so let's see. We need to cut this. Cut the prickly, uh, the, the prickly uh, thorny thingy. And there you go. That's cut. Now, we can go right here. And... Oh, wow. Yeah, they made this puzzle... They made this puzzle very interesting. So, let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. We, we, we can now push this. So Okay, so let's see. Before we do anything, let's get a lay of the land and... Uh, Huh. Let's say we push this. Okay, I think I know what we need to do. Alright. Here we go. We're pushing. 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 And yes, another repel just in case. And right there. Okay. So, what needs to happen is we need to push this. Right. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, I think we need to push this right down here. Now, some of you guys might yell at me and be like, what the heck are you thinking, Draven? And there you go. We push... We can't push this. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Down just a little bit more. That will push it into the other section right there. So I'm going to hold off on that one. And we're going to go right here. And this one will take us right here. And we will be able to surf. So, wow. This, yeah, this is very, this is a very intricate uh, kind of a uh, kind of uh, thing. And, well, let's go right ahead and do that. We found ourselves a rare candy. Can't go wrong with an air, a rare candy. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and do that again. Jordan the Goat. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else? Nothing. Okay, so we need to push. We need an entrance to that one. So, let's see. We need to get back. We need to get to the back side of this. All right, so let's see. Right here. And let's go ahead and push this. Keep in doing it, keep on doing it, keep on doing it. Yes, we are. Look at that. Pushing this. Pushing, 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 pushing. And there you go. Okay, so that's two. And what we need to do here is push this to that area. Just a little bit. And we need to surf onto the other side. So, again, surf. Make sure to have a surfing Pokemon. And there you go. And right here. There you go. Cut this. And now we have to turn. We have to go all the way around. Holy crud. This is always fun right here. 
Okay, so let's see. Right here. And going back up here. Pushing this to this area. And that right there is how you do that. And all you got to do is push this right towards this part. And just like that, we got everything. And all you need to do now is collect this. And you found yourselves the TM-22 Solar Beam, which is a very, very powerful grass-type move. And here we have the shortcut. And just like that, guys, we have uh, completed our little, a little thing right here. Anywho, as you guys can see, this is the entrance to the Pokemon League, the Victory Road. We've already been here before. And uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to be going back to the very first uh, very first city that we went to in order to get a badge. Because, uh, yeah, we need a rest. We need to, you know, get ready mentally, physically, and all that crud for a Pokemon League battle. Victory Road. I need to figure out some Pokemon that uh, if, if I have a Pokemon that can learn, uh, what was it called? Uh, that can learn, what was it? Uh, Waterfall? Then, yeah, we, we, we will use it. And we're going to cut this because, yeah, a long time ago, we said we would get this. And here we go, guys. We found ourselves a revive. And there's just one more thing I want to do before we finish off our episode right here. And that is this. We can go and surf right here. And what's going to happen is I'm going to use another Max Repel because I, I don't want to get attacked by a Pokemon. And... We're going to be going right over here, and you're going to be able to find yourself another item, and that is a Dawnstone. Look at that. Okay. So, that is pretty much it right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going to Victory Road, and uh, don't be too surprised if I make a few switches on my team, depending on what kind of HMs and TMs we need. It's going to be fun, guys. It will be fun. It should be fun. I don't even know. Yeah, it, it should be fun. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient, as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.